Hey everyone, uh, today is January 20th, 2021, and we are going to be reading the following passages in our ESV Everyday Bible. Genesis chapter 34 and 35, Matthew 11, 20 through 30, Psalm 19, 1 through 6, and Proverbs 7, 1 through 5. Let's jump right in. Genesis 34 and 35. Now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Jacob, went out to see the women of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor the Hivite, the prince of the land, saw her, he seized her and lay with her and humiliated her. And his soul was drawn to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. He loved the young woman and spoke tenderly to her. So Shechem spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this girl for my wife. Now Jacob heard that he had defiled his daughter Dinah, but his sons were with the livestock in the field. So Jacob held his peace until they came. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out to Jacob to speak with him. The sons of Jacob had come in from the field as soon as they heard of it, and the men were indignant and very angry, because he had done such an outrageous thing in Israel by lying with Jacob's daughter, for such a thing must not be done. But Hamor spoke, to with, spoke with them, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Please give her to him to be his wife. Make marriages with us. Give your daughters to us and take your daughters for yourselves. Take our daughters for yourselves. You shall dwell with us and the land shall be open to you. Dwell and trade in it and get prosperity and get property in it. Shechem also said to her father and to her brothers, Let me find favor in your eyes. Whatever you say to me, to me I will give. Ask for me as great a bride price and gift as you will, and I will give you whatever you say to me. Only give me the young woman to be my wife. The sons of Jacob answered Shechem and his father Hamor deceitfully, because he had defiled their sister Dinah. They said to them, We cannot do this thing to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a disgrace to us. Only on this condition will we agree with you, that you will become as we are by every male, every male among you being circumcised. Then we will give you our daughters, give our daughters to you, and we will take your daughters to ourselves, and we will dwell with you and become one people. But if you will not listen to us and be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and we will be gone. Their words pleased Hamor and Hamor's son Shechem, and the, wor and the young men, man did not delay to do the thing, because he delighted in Jacob's daughter. Now he was most honored of all his father's house. So Hamor and his son Shechem came to the gate to their city and spoke to the men of their city, saying, these men are at peace with us. Let them dwell in the land and trade in it. For behold, the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters as wives and let us give them our daughters. Only on this condition will the men agree to dwell with us and become one people when every male among us is circumcised as they are circumcised. Will not their livestock, their property, and all their beasts be ours? Only let us agree with them and they will dwell with us. And all who went out to the gate of the city listened to Hamor and his son Shechem, and every male was circumcised, all who went to the gate of his city. On the third day, when they were sore, two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, took their swords and came against the city when it fell secure, when it felt secure, and killed all the males. They killed Hamor and his son Shechem with the sword and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went away. The son of Jacob came upon the slain and plundered the city, the sons of Jacob, because they had defiled their sister. They took their flocks and their herds, their donkeys and whatever was in the city and in the field, all their wealth, all their little ones and their wives, all that was in the houses they captured and plundered. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, you have brought trouble on me by making me, me stink to the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites and the Perizzites. My numbers are few, and if they gather themselves against me and attack, I shall be destroyed, both I and my household. But they said, Should he treat our sister like a prostitute? God said to Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there. Make an altar there to God who appeared to you when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Put away the foreign gods that are among you, and purify yourselves, and change your garments. Then let us arise and go to Bethel, so that I may make an altar there to my God, to the God who answers me in the day of my distress, and has been with me wherever I have gone. So they gave to Jacob all the foreign gods that they had, 
and the rings that there were in their ears. Jacob hid them underneath under the terebinth tree that was near Shechem. And as they journeyed, a terror from God fell upon the cities that were around them, so that they did not pursue the sons of Jacob. And God came to Luz, that is Bethel, which is in the land of Canaan, he and all the people who were with him, and there built an altar and called the place El Bethel, because there, because there God had revealed himself to him when he fled from his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, died, and when she and she was buried under an oak below Bethel, so he called its name Alon Bakuth. God appeared to Jacob again when he came from Paddan Aram to bless and blessed him. And God said to him, Your name is Jacob. No longer shall you be called Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. So he called his name Israel. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall come from you, and kings shall come from your own body. The land that I give to Abraham, that I gave to Abraham and Isaac, I will give to you, and I will give the land to your offspring after you. Then God went up from him in the place and where he had, where he had spoken with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he had spoken with him, a pillar of stone. He poured out a drink offering on it and poured oil on it. So Jacob called the name of the place where God had spoken with him Bethel. Then they journeyed from Bethel. When they were, when they were still some distance from Ephrath, Rachel went into labor and she had a hard labor. And when her labor was at its hardest, the midwife said to her, Do not fear, for you have another son. And as her soul was departing, for she was dying, she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. So Rachel died, and she was buried on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. And Jacob set up a pillar over her tomb. It is the pillar of Rachel's tomb, which is there to this day. Israel journeyed on, the, Israel journeyed on and pitched his tent beyond the Tower of Eder. While Israel lived in that land, Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard of it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, the sons of, Levi, Le, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, the sons of Bilah, Rachel's servant, Dan, and Naphtali, the sons of Zil Zilpah, Leah's servant, Gad, and Asher. These were the sons of Jacob who were born to him in Paddan Aram. And Jacob came to his father's, and Jacob came to his father Isaac at Mamre, or Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac had sojourned. Now the days of Isaac were 180 years, and Isaac breathed his last, and he died and, and was gathered to his people, old and full of days, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Hmm. Our um, New Testament reading here today is Matthew chapter 11, 20 through 30. Then he began to denounce the cities where most of his mighty works had been done, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if, mighty, if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre or Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, you will, be will you be exalted to heaven? You will be brought down to Hades. For if mighty works done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, but I tell you that it is more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom than for you. At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hmm. Psalm 19, 1-6 To the choir master, a psalm of David. 
The heavens declare the, glo the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its, its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them. And there is nothing hidden from, the heat, from its heat. Proverbs 7, 1 through 5. My son, keep my words and treasure up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call insight your intimate friend. To keep you from the forbidden woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words. Wonderful stuff. Uh, tomorrow is January 21st, 2021, and we will read Genesis chapter 36, Matthew 12, 1 through 21, Psalm 19, 7 through 14, and Proverbs 7, 6 through 9. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening and for reading through the scriptures with me this evening. Hope you all have a great night. Thank you.